Hey, welcome to Spring One Sonic Soul Collage. Uh, we got a fun one tonight. Uh, we're going to get funky. And uh, who better to do it with than the uh, ultimate funk bass player, Bootsy Collins. Bootsy, I didn't realize until I was doing this. He uh, grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, right? My neck of the woods. And uh, he played with uh, James Brown early on before... Uh, going on and starting his own bands and ending up with uh, George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic. And then uh, tonight we have uh, quite a number of uh, collaborations with him. So I'm going to shut up and get to it, but we're going to let uh, local Sacramento uh, ooh, flow and hip-hop artist Black Delicious along with Gil Scott Heron getting us started, and then Gil Scott Heron's going to take us home at the end, too. So get your heads right, and this is a great, great, great one for dancing. So let's get funky. Mm Flourishing in the wind, like a student about to do it when he's graduating. Free from any other energy perception, can never be defined. Create the definition within. Free, just loving life himself and never pretend to be anything other than the man I was meant to be. Travel through time and get a glimpse of the centuries to come a better day. As promised, remember free, like my nephew when a few months about to be out the penitentiary. Meditation, 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 meditation. meditation, meditation. To the metal, see what you find. You're back and slouching over, won't you pick up your spine? Let's make it really, really happen. Live up this time. Cause you could choose to say good morning, God, a good God morning. We're black clouds storming. I walk without umbrellas in any woods. Don't need it cause the mighty trees of bubbles shelter me good. I'm eating berries from the bushes of the heavenly goods. Upon the stage, the power came through us whenever we stood. Reverberating out of region each and every hood. Whenever we could. The spiritual anatomy fool, but never take the credit for it because that'd be rude. It's just the way of life we searching for that had to be new. You gotta work it though, cause every game Saturday fool. Evolving to a better life and be happy with you and your peers. Giant in the morning, stretching and yawning. Rise. Rise. Like an infant being held in the light. Like the smoke from an incense when it's ignited. Rise. Rise. If you're sleeping, won't you open your eyes again? The greatest high be that natural high within. No need to force enough progression, just ride the wind. We will the answer to the where and the why and when. If you keep working for your search, you will find the end. Though at the end, you'll find it only begins again. So yet the end, you see it only begins again. And everything you learn, you only remember. Cause you're good. Take some time off the lonely street. Let your mind and your soul be free. Work the 
shine, meet your go feeling. Spread that kind of the lonely ink. Take some time off the lonely. Cause all we got is rhythm and time. We go beyond the edge of the sky. Cause all we got is rhythm and time. We go beyond the edge of the sky. Cause all we got is rhythm and time. We go beyond the edge of the sky. Origins of Bootsy. Bootsy Collins was born a long, long time ago in a subterranean cavern full of shining dinosaurs deep below the Ohio River before anyone had heard of Ohio. Late one night as the dinosaurs grazed on canopies of bat shit and the bats flew freely in little purple outfits, there was a rumbling from the earth below. Far from being terrified, the dinos began to dance. Because Bootsy was coming. Bootsy coming! <laughs> Check out this intergalactic, most effective, out of connection to the worldwide funk drive. Are you here? To the funk shit, baby. So put them hands together. There's a party on this side. Thank you. 
Mr. Hendricks, uh, a lot of people found the Wallkill assembly startling, even surprising. What would you say to them? Well, from now on, a lot of people are going to find a whole lot of things. Ten times more startling, ten times more surprising. It all depends on where their head's at. Let's pretend that a flying saucer's coming down. Instead of checking it out or really seeing what it's about, they're going to try to shoot it down, first of all. In other words, an unknown thing. So this is very unknown to the people who are surprised, isn't it? But they should try to get, you know, get into it, see what it's really about. today. So everybody mixed together. You wouldn't believe it. 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 Different strokes for different folks. That's all I can say. Sly and the Family Stone, I think, said that. <laughs>
because a lot of kids from the ghetto or whatever you want to call it, you know, don't have enough money to travel across country to see these different festivals, what they call festivals. I mean, seven dollars is a lot of money, you know. To introduce to you from the silver screen to HD to Blu ray, tell me what I say. Uh, let's hear it for Samuel L. Jackson, aka Sammy J. Put your hands together. Let me drop a little knowledge about how I got from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Big City, LA. When I was a kid, when I got up in the morning, that was music in my house. That was a whole gang of us walked to school together. We would grab each other up from house to house. Every house had its own beat. Own beat. And that beat, that beat would carry us in our books all the way down the street. Down the street. Down the street. thing they call devotion, where we had to do the Lord's Prayer, pledge allegiance to the flag, sing America the Beautiful. But once we'd done that, the teacher would let us pick a song that we wanted to sing. We would always pick something cool. You imagine a class of about 30 little brothers and sisters singing Peanut Butter. <laughs> Doing background to our lead singer of the class, Aquanetta Butts, as she sang, This is dedicated to the one I love, and we win. Oh, that made the day so much better. We could learn and learn, learn and burn. As we got a little older, I think I bought my first 45. I think it was, uh, Mama said that the days like this, Smokey was my man, then that was the Duke of Earth, I can see it, of course, Brown, I learned to do the slob, the funky chicken, the twist, when I was turned off, I was a dancing, Turning the mother. I felt like I was gonna live forever. The music just made me so strong. I got to college. Things started to groove and even better. Mars and Gage laying it on us, making us feel all political. I grew my hair long, had my fro. My army fatigue jacket, fists in the air, Stokely, rap, all the brothers, things that started to make sense, and nonsense. I met brothers coming from Vietnam, didn't even know where that was. They said, if you don't stay in school, man, you're going to end up in the war. I was already in a war, a war of equality. Little did I know. The government got kind of hip to what we were trying to do, and they decided we're going to put an end to this. They took all the weed off the street. Took all the acid off the street. And all they left was death. The White Hawks. We wrote it. We wrote it hard. But when that wasn't enough, they brought in that girl. Oh, Lord, that girl. We love that girl. for approval of H.
H.R. 8791, the Homeland Terrorism Preparedness Bill. Uh, said bill requests emergency response funding up to and including... Uh, I'm sorry, this section is classified. Should event occur in urban areas? men's room and and, and 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 write dirty words on the wall let them furnish their own crayons let them furnish their own wall but don't ask the taxpayers to support it Let 
the place that you want to be if you want to get low down and funky. That feeling I love. If the phone game broke, then don't try to fix it. Give it to a DJ so he may mix it. So what you gonna do when things get hot? Break for the heels, cause it's on when it pops. Hey. Oh, was that sweet and fun, Gary? What? Um, I'm gonna take a little time here just to tell you a little story uh, of how I came, how music uh, led me to uh, understand Black American culture uh, to a, a lot greater extent than I had the opportunity to growing up. I grew up in a little farm town in Ohio, about 800 people. And there was one black family in the uh, one family of color in the community, and it was a black family. Uh, I first became aware of them when I was pretty young, because uh, the two boys in the family played uh, football about ten years before I got into high school. It was about the first I started being aware of the football team, and they were just amazing, and uh, so it really brought my attention to that. And uh, my father worked at the local bank. It was a locally owned bank. A couple brothers owned it. And the black uh, father of the family was the janitor at the bank. So that uh, was my first direct experience with, uh, black, uh, with a black man. And then uh, we went out one time to dinner at one of the bank owner's houses. And the man who was the janitor was in a little... Uh, uh, waiter's outfit waiting on us on the table, and it, uh, it really uh, woke me up. It really felt very uncomfortable and got me start to wondering, what's going on uh, between white and black? And then when I was about 12 years old, I was down in Florida at my uh, cousin's in, uh, in uh, St. Petersburg, and uh, we were at a department store, and I went to get a drink of water. My cousin says, no, no, you don't do that. And I said, why not? And she pointed at a sign that said colored water. And I looked at it, and I looked at the water, and I went back and turned the fountain on, and I said, it's not colored, it's clear. And then she explained to me what that meant, and she showed me where the white water fountain was. Then we were out swimming one day, uh, I'm not sure where it was, but I can remember we were in a nice beach, all white folks, and I looked down a ways and on a rocky little uh, section on quite a ways away were uh, a lot of black folks swimming. So that really got me uh, realizing uh, that there's that segregation and discrimination going on, and by then the civil rights movement was starting to heat up. So I was blessed in my music journey because I wasn't exposed to much black music growing up in that farm town except what was top 40. And uh, when I got to college my freshman year, my roommate was a bass player in a soul band and he had this huge soul music album collection. So I got to immerse myself in that. Then about a year later, I became buddies with John Gilbert, who's still a good buddy of mine. We're, thanks to Facebook, we got back in touch with each other. And he had a big uh, blues collection and uh, a lot of knowledge about the blues, so I got a chance to immerse myself in that. Then when I moved down here, out here to uh, Sacramento, uh, I administered an arts program when I first came here, and uh, our artist and resident, Keith Jefferson, had been the lead singer of the Runners, which was one of the top bands in the early 70s in Sacramento, most of the Folks in that band have gone on to have uh, careers in music, and uh, Keith sadly has uh, passed away. But uh, while we were together, he had this huge funk album collection and turned me on to a lot of funk. And uh, and uh, 
that's how we ended up here. Listen to Bootsy Collins. Uh, taking us home here is going to be uh, Bill Scott Heron doing The Revolution Will Not Be te Televised. And uh, pay heed to that song, Mines Under Construction, because that's what's going on here. Uh, the cable news channels cover Trump 24-7. Meanwhile, the Black Lives Matter movement has been put on a back burner and hardly heard from. So let's take care and make peace, justice, and liberty happen. <laughs> be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on Skag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by Xerox in four parts without commercial interruptions. The revolution will not show you pictures of Nixon blowing a bugle and leading a charge by John Mitchell, General Abrams, and Spiro Agnew to eat hog moths confiscated from a Harlem sanctuary. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by the Schaefer Award Theater and will not star Natalie Woods and Steve McQueen or Bullwinkle and Julia. The revolution will not give your mouth sex appeal. The revolution will not get rid of the nubs. The revolution will not make you look five pounds thinner because the revolution will not be televised, brother. There will be no pictures of you and Willie Mae pushing that shopping cart down the block on the dead run or trying to slide that color TV into a stolen ambulance. NBC will not be able to predict the winner at 8.32 on report from 29 districts. The revolution will not be televised. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of Whitney Young being run out of Harlem on the rail with a brand new process. There will be no slow motion or still lights of Roy Wilkins strolling through Watts in a red, black, and green liberation jumpsuit that he has been saving for just the proper occasion. Green Acres, Beverly Hillbillies, and Hooterville Junction will no longer be so damn relevant, and women will not care if Dick finally got down with Jane on Search for Tomorrow, because black people will be in the street looking for a brighter day. The revolution will not be televised. There will be no highlights on the 11 o'clock news and no pictures of Harry R. Women Liberationist and Jackie Onassis blowing her nose. The theme song will not be written by Jim Webb or Francis Scott Keyes, nor sung by Glenn Campbell, Tom Jones, Johnny Cash, Engelbert Humperdinck, or The Rare Earth. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be right back after a message about a white tornado, white lightning, or white people. You will not have to worry about a dove in your bedroom, the tiger in your tank, or the giant in your toilet bowl. The revolution will not go better with coke. The revolution will not fight germs that may cause bad breath. The revolution will put you in the driver's seat. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live.